Hi, welcome to Martinez Design. In this tutorial, we are going to create dining table with chairs. We are using family to create this. So, the reason why we are using family is that you will be able to create, to use it in failures and upload it into a project, any kind of project you are developing. So, this is what to do. The kind of file they are going to use is more different from the project file because this is a family. So first thing you need to do is to go to create family, create new. So under here, you will see, let's use English. English search for furniture. So it's, it's family of furniture you are going to use click OK by opening this. Now, this is the space which you are going to use to create your family system. So, the first thing to do is that this is we are mod mod modeling everything anew. This is has nothing to do with war, has nothing to do with, uh, with structure for now. This is a family creation point. So, when you look at when you moment you open your new file, you look at it from here. You see create insert. If you have anything to insert to modify your drawing or things like that, if you have image to follow as a reference. That's where you can insert and bring it in. So if you are using doing the the annotate by align the dimension and so on and so forth. So you use them. But most important thing you should check is this load into a project. Right? Or load into a project. Load into a project will allow you to know that okay, you are in a family mode. So you'll be able to, whenever you finish your drawing, you close, put it in another project which you are you going to use it in. So let's start by creating a set of a uh, dining table and chair. So you use extrusion to create table. Click on this, say reference, you use box, click here and type the size of what you want to, what you want to, so size of dining which I want to use just like a rectangular. So I want to use 120. I'll just click OK. Escape. So here you click it. 120 by 120. Depends on the kind of furniture you are making. So I just want to use this particular one on my own. Pick the from the center, log it to the middle. Okay, so you click. Let's say let's refine the edges. I don't like the way the edges are flat, so it's just refine the edges by clicking arc. So as you do that, select mirror. So you do the mirror here too. The middle. Okay. Something is telling me that that is not at the middle. So you pick it from somewhere and drag it up. Good. So you center now. So you click here. Okay. You trim the edges trim everything all right so click finish so now you have the table drawn so you go to front television because you are not getting so you drag it to the normal height you want it to be reduce the size initially okay Make sure you are using your measurements from the ground floor, from the level of the ground to somewhere at the top. So select it again. Now drag it up. 
click move use constraint remove it so what mm -hmm. so remove it up use your arrow key keep, keep dragging it up until like you get to the heights that you know that okay this particular height I want so when you click seven has not reached my satisfaction I want something like 900 millimeter so I keep moving by pressing up arrow on your keyboard So, yeah, you have things like that. So, you did, you are done with the height. So, the next thing to do is to create the leg that is the stand for the for the table. So, go back, click, create extrusion. We are going to use extrusion again. The same rectangle, but this time around is going to be at the edge. Yes, 100 by 100. So select here, mirror. Select the two of them. Mirror it again. So you have this height on its own. So click finish. Go to where we have a forefront elevation then select dragon yes you've gotten the leg of the table so you can check it on your 3d by clicking 3d view click home so you see so that is that is how to draw you've done that for yourself so you've done this and you have created whatever you want to create this is the table now we want to create chair so to create the chair you use the same formula and use them certain references so first you need to do on your table is to create a extrusion so you create extrusion draw use rectangle you can draw the size of the chair you want so let's say I want to use 700 by 700 by 700 press enter ok delete this measurement you can refine the edges the way you did for this one as well so you do the edges refine it good so mirror it Select, control select, mirror it as well. So you trip along the the arc. So make sure you trim everything perfectly. Trim up. Good. So you say finish. So here you go to the front side where you select it. Move this one. So move them and use what? Remove constraint. So when you move with constraint, you move up to somewhere you want it the height to be. So you redo the size again. 
and this one serve as what as the seat this is where you are going to sit now we want to create a what is it called the the arm and the chair stand so you close you use create on your create you just use a sweep under this on the sweep let's use this one create so let's create leg create something like like this to go around so use act as well This same thing here. Okay. You can use the same kind of design. I want the leg to something like something like dog leg kind of. Uh, stand so that is for that then the just is something like can carry it and just hold it as if maybe you are pushing okay just a design just use your initiative great whatsoever Three, three, fine. So here you click finished. You go to edit provide on the plane level or any level. You just know that okay, it's going to be okay. Open it. At this point now, you just need to draw a little circle around that place. So your radius, let's it be something like uh, that is reasonable. So I want to use. Uh, I want to use 2015. I think that will be okay. So click finish. I finish it. So are you seeing it? So you move this away from that place. Say to join the member. From this point now, you take it come to something like edge edge here. So you can move this as well, move it outside. So here, you mirror this one along the, the seat center you create. So when you move that, you go to front, you see what you have created. So the next thing to do is to rotate this particular one. So click on it, say rotate with copy, drag this guy. To the edge like this. Say so, okay, rotate. Good. So use your arrow key to move it. Here yeah, you say click on the mirror and just good. So you can move down. The reason is that you have already moved free from constraint. So when you do that, so you go to and see it on your 3D. You see? That's the chair you have created. So you can now select this chair. I will select that you can group them so that they have a normal group them and say chair. So okay. So as we've done that, select it now and you go to your reference, rotate it along the the four parts, drag this guy back to the middle. 
say OK. So you select this one as well. Control with that. Then say rotate. You bring it to the midi. Do it at uh, 360. I mean 180 degree. Sorry. So you have it here set. So when you go to 3D, are you seeing it? That is the chair that you have already created. This is the sunny set. So you can check it from your realistic view. You have not assigned material yet. So we are not dealing with material assigning, we just dealing with model. So this is your this is how to create 3D. If you click on shade, you have your chair, you have your tiny, you can rotate around and see how far your design is. So that is how to create tiny in a Revit. So everything is into detail, you can zoom in and see the way the whole things are. So that is how to create tiny using Refit 2023. So, in the next lesson, probably we assign material, we change the material color so that you can be able to use it along every other place. So, feel free to share, feel free to like the, the our design and same time, subscribe to our channel.